Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful planet Earth. Today we're going to continue in our gesture series of vertical standing gesture, the second part. And as with all the gestures and with all of our practices in the Embodied Life School, we always begin with the ground. We find our way through listening. And why do we always begin with the ground? Like a balloon, without the magnet or the hand holding it, something connected, tethered to the earth, we will fly away. As a metaphor, our feelings will, we will hang, linger out here like this our whole life, unless we dig deep down and really come in, really inhabit the body so that we can also live outside of the body. The embodied life isn't about being so much physical as it is treasuring and relying on this miracle of the body to enter into, to connect to our breath, to connect to our organs, to connect with our bony system to connect with our inner feelings and thoughts, to connect with the ground, the support that's there 24 seven. So that when we can really truly connect with the earth and that is an ongoing process, it's not a static fact, it's ongoing. That when we are more connected with the earth we can rise up. It's really simple gravity and levity, but it is a life's work. So in these gestures, they're so human, they're so archetypical. We know that uh, as young children, all healthy young children, they reach up to be lifted up. They want to be lifted up. Maybe they're seeking the warmth or security or protection or a better worldview. <laughs> we don't know. But we know that that yearning, that longing, that reaching up and out is a human feeling. It's a human soul feeling. So today we're going to come down dropping in, in, in to the ground to continue developing that relationship. We send roots down through the bottoms of our feet. We breathe. We drop in and down and there are so many ways to do that. And we know by now through all these videos, many ways to drop in and down. Some will be more your style, some will be new and uh, inviting to learn. So we drop in and down, opening and letting go of any extra work that keeps us from sensing the ground underneath our feet. until we're standing more simply. Simple, simple standing. One of, the, one of the things that we don't teach in this culture and in many cultures, we figure somehow it got figured that once we were standing, we know we didn't have to know how, how, or how we do it or feel it or be with it. But oh, there are such gifts 
learning and sensing and being with what we automatically do to make it more present, which gives us amazing gifts. We should try it. Try it and see. Good. So as we did last week, we also, and the week before, we come from the golden ball. And that's the place three fingers below the navel. And as we know, it is part of every movement that we do. If we can connect to it, our movement is more connected. And breathing in, breathing in, and beginning to feel this sense around the fingers. You know you're going to lift your arms, and we know we can do that if we're healthy. So it's not a question of, oh, can I do this? It's how do I do this? Well, let's imagine we have strings on our fingers, like puppets. And... We feel the golden ball, we feel our breath. We bring our right foot just a half a step in front of the left. A little more easy to balance there. And we breathe in and we feel some, we imagine something pulling the strings. And we're listening, we're listening because we don't do it like this every day. We don't take the time to listen and feel what it's like if we can enter into something else larger than ourselves, even with our imagination. And then exhaling, allowing the arms to come down. If you run out of exhale, you just breathe comfortably. So we're inhaling again. Something's pulling those strings, lifting the arms up for us. We're breathing in. We're looking forward. And we're breathing comfortably when the arms are lifted and we feel that ground under our feet. The fingers begin to tingle a little and the crown of each finger is alive. And we exhale, and we come back onto that back foot. Once more, incorporating the whole of it. Inhaling, coming on to the front foot, the left heel lifts. Breathing easily. Sensing that vertical axis from fingertip to foot to ground, from above below, and we are the balance in between. Returning on the exhale, coming back to the back foot, staying on both feet. Good, so that's a review of the what we've been working with how we come to it, how we think of it. And now we're going to include the second part of the vertical gesture, which is the changing over the feet, coming on to the left foot in front, the right foot behind. And we begin by breathing out, but we add something new this time. We breathe out, but as the arms are lifting, we allow the head, the jaw to soften, the head to go backward, and the eyes to go with the hands. Many people get a little off balance here, so then you bend your knees a little bit more. Now the right heel is lifting a little bit. And you breathe easily. You're looking up. You're listening, you're sensing this gesture. And 
In the beginning, you come down usually a little earlier and we breathe in as we go back to that back right heel, coming down, breathing in. When you run out of breath, you begin to breathe easily again. So whenever you feel a little bit wobbly or dizzy, really come into the ground, bend those knees, bring your attention down so that you can go up. Breathing out and rising. It's that same sense of being drawn. Breathing easily, opening with wonder. Maybe there's a joy, maybe there's a sorrow. See what lives. Breathing out and returning. Those strings that are holding the arms, don't ever just let go. They come down smoothly and softly. We stand and we sense. And one last time together, breathing out, rising, looking up. Breathing in, returning and breathing in. The arms are being let down. The head and eyes come with. And then we come and we stand on two feet, letting the arms be with their liveliness, their vitality, sensing Who's standing here now? These gestures and movement itself is a portal to a new perception, a new field of perception. Becoming present so quickly through simple movement, simple but connected movement conscious movement gives us a gift where we are truly in the body and we are all around the body living in a larger space than we were when we began. And that's a beautiful gift. the gift, gratitude, the thanks, the warmth of having this capacity. True thanksgiving. Blessings on your practice.